So we were hoping that today would be the day, but I had yesterday off as you will notice because there was no vloggage and uh, feeling rested, although I've got backache from sitting in the chair and watching videos with Dominic. Uh, I think what we will do today is final prep. So I need to put a fan into the control box here to make sure that it doesn't overheat. I need to get all of the hoses out, strip them down, run them through acid. We need to do an acid rinse in the boil kettle, the HLT, the fermenters, continue the caustic on these two. And we also need to do a caustic rinse and an acid rinse in the cold liquor tank. We need to connect up a supply pipe from the cold liquor tank to enable me to chill. Uh, so I've got a supply of water and I'm drawing off the mains. And uh, did I say weigh the grain out? Yeah, weigh the grain out, get all the paperwork, get all the instrumentation, like the hydrometers and everything ready. And uh, yeah, and then once that's done, I'll be able to go home tonight, set the HLT to come on in the morning, or I'll come down quite early and put it on then. And uh, we will commence a brew tomorrow. So I've decided, We've got two candidates for the first brew, depending on what hops I can lay my hands on. So it's either going to be an American style pale ale with a simple hop bill, but potent, you know, we'll, it's not going to be much more expensive than doing an English style bitter because that has East Kent Goldings and Challenger in there, which aren't the cheapest hops. They're on a par with Cascade and Chinook, believe it or not, particularly EKGs, Kent Goldings. I'm also, I'm thinking English Bitter or Pale, because both of these aren't too strong in the hop department and you'll be able to pick up any off flavours that come through, if indeed there are any. So we'll decide today, once we've got ingredients out and we can, uh, we can see how the land lies. So first things first for me, We'll get some of these tanks set up and recirculating and then I'll start buzzing around. The fan into that control panel there. I need to set my little kitchen back up because Stuart moved it. Uh, and then obviously once that's done we need to get all the instrumentation cleaned and laid out on there ready. And uh, well, exciting times. Lots to think about, lots to think about. Right, we've got a right rush on. So I'm changing the uh, adapters over here for the bottom of the control panel to put on the trailing plugs, the 32 amp trailing plugs that I wanted. Over here, we're recirculating caustic in that tank and you can see the water coming out the back here because I'm emptying the glycol reservoir because we had water in there. So I'm just emptying the water out and then what we've got here is our monoprop glycol. So yeah, you can see we've got the monoprop glycol there. 40 litres. So what we're going to do is chuck that in, recirculate it, test it so we, we make sure that we've got the right concentration. Hook it up, recirculate it for a bit and then test it of course. And then we want to, oh, well we'll talk about the dilution rates of the glycol shortly. And we'll we'll turn this machine on, and we'll see if we can get the uh, get the whole system cooled down. day actually folks we've got the cold tank down to 9.2 uh, the glycol tank we've got this filling up you can see wobbling around there a little bit you can see that dancing so that's filling up nicely we've had it full to the top but this water I've used to rinse down the boil kettle and the HLT so around the front we're recirculating caustic through the inside of all the pipe work that we've got and uh, we're just waiting for the HLT to finish draining then I'm going to close her off and we're going to start filling her up using this instrument here 
Now this is going to allow me to measure litres going into the tank. It's accurate enough for this purpose, but it isn't accurate enough to like measure beer into casks, if you know what I mean. So it'll be able to give us a nice indication of how many litres we've got on the sight glass there. And then moving forwards, we are going to fill up the tanks with some acid and give that a spin. All of these still need rinsing. We've got the caustic just flowing round and round the mash tun at the minute while it's going through these pipes. There's no way I would have got a, got a brood on today. So uh, we've cleared this section out. This is where we're going to do like, the little lab area, weights and measures. Bit of a kitchen area if you like to store, you know, beer and uh, sandwiches for dinner. And then uh, we've got the microwave on this side. Need to run some power across for it. But yeah, it's freed this up. Any grain that we've got, we're gonna just store over there in that corner. And uh, I think we'll be ready tomorrow. There's still a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, at the very worst, it's gonna be pushed back to Wednesday. But we'll see. I'm not gonna risk ruining the brew day just for the sake of getting a brew day video done. So just hang on, hold fire folks. We will be getting a brew day up when we're ready. When we're ready. now chappy roos so I've just put the HLT on to measure the uh, the voltage or the amps should I say so we never got round to doing this the other day because the panel meter died the uh, not the panel meter well this thing multimeter so the whole panel as it's running consumes 0 0.1 amps which is effectively not and then if I uh, come across to the HLT, which is active, you can see with the red dot. Oh, I also mounted this fan in there as well on a little DIN rail mount. So uh, that's cool, isn't it? So yeah, if I attach to that, you'll see we're pulling 17.8 amps on a phase. So that's what we've got, power in the HLT, basically 18 amps and of course double for the boiler. Oh, right, nice. what's up? What, caustic? Mm. Oh no, quick wash it off. So the plan was to brew tomorrow. I've got the control panel set up. I've got hoses in here sanitising. We've discarded some of the old ones which are no good. And really they're not any good. So when they get to this colour, 
the inside of them, as you will see, is pretty manky. So they're decommissioned. So what I think I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to turn this off because I had it set to come on in the morning. So I'll turn that off and we'll isolate everything so we're not going to turn the elements on. We'll let it click on anyway so when I arrive it should come on. And then we'll hook up all these hoses again. We'll weigh out the grain and we'll put the grain in the mash tun. We'll weigh out the water treatment and we'll get everything ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, we'll get everything ready to go tomorrow for a Wednesday brew. Because I know what's going to happen, I'll probably just rush tomorrow and make a mistake along the way. So uh, today's been a busy day. It's what time is it, Jem? Quarter to nine? About, yeah. It's about quarter to nine, so I'll just turn this off. You see the uh, glycol tank sat at minus 10.4, cooking nicely. We've got the cold liquor tank full to the brim. The HLT, as I said, is full to the brim. We are literally ready to go. So I've just got to weigh out grains, weigh out hops, finalise a recipe, and uh, yeah, make sure make sure we have no hiccups. Uh, I've also got to find the time to ring Andy from GC, he left me a message. Um, well I reckon that's it Gem. I reckon we can wrap up my duck, yeah. go and get the kids and uh, get prepared for, well, a steady day tomorrow then. Get everything weighed out and then push the button on Wednesday. That's the plan. Right, there we are, we've got it, it's in the bag. It ain't gonna change. So we'll see you tomorrow for the final setup and the weigh-in. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for the weigh-in. <laughs>